I'm the coach George DeMeo from 960 WELI and ESPN Radio 1300, and you're watching What's Up CT. a show today on uh, What's Up CT. I got the coach in the house. What's up, coach? Hello. How, how are we you, doing, Mr. Baby? Dukes, my man. Oh. And I got Tony Capiano, uh, Tony C, yeah, as y'all you know. Buddy. All right, we got a great show coming up. This is Charles Dukes Jr. from What's Up CT. We'll be right back right after this. No. Oops. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Moms everywhere are finding ways to keep kids active and healthy. <sighs> Works every time. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself, but I didn't because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. Coach, how are you? Well, well welcome back. And uh, well, how's everything going, the coach? Everything is just great. This is certainly an experience I will never forget awesome awesome uh, and, and i feel the, the love and, <laughs> <laughs> oh you <laughs> can feel it i'm sure <laughs> yes uh, having a good time doing fun having, having doing a good fun. time doing fun yes awesome. having a great time awesome awesome uh tony c how's everything tony c good, charles thanks for having me back again it's, uh, a, it's a pleasure um uh, I feel like this guy's an old uh, favorite of mine. I've been on his show twice. and uh, I'm glad you made it. I made it. I'm glad I, you made I, it. I'm a little lost today, but uh, the, the coach got me back. That's, <laughs> why, that's why I brought it up. Awesome. Awesome. That's why he nicknamed the coach. <laughs> he coached me back. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The coach is in the house. So, uh, now, wh where'd you get that name, uh, the coach? Now, how did they get to call you the coach? Can you tell us about Oh, that? absolutely. There's a story with it. Uh, when I went to uh, interview for the radio job, and it started at KC 101. All right. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. back, uh, back a few years ago, mm -hmm. uh, they had a contest, and what you did is they wanted everyone who wanted to be a sportscaster on KC 101 to send in a tape. Okay, right. So I sent in my cassette tape, I hate to date myself, oh. a cassette <laughs> tape, and uh, yeah. No, it's not bad, if you said 8-track, then we Oh, no, you're right about that, okay. it was cassette. Oh, we all remember cassette. the 8-track. Yes, okay. we do. We all all right. uh, we, I sent it in, yes, and yeah. when I went in, uh, I was picked as one of uh, five finalists. Oh my goodness. That were, wow. was gonna come in that week, and right. your final interview was doing a sports report on the radio live on KC 101. Oh, wow. I happened to be the third one of that week. So I came in on a Wednesday. All right. Yeah. Uh, the day that I came in, 
and it was in uh, March, it was in April of that year, and I had a jacket on when I came in. Oh, okay. And the jacket, I had coached uh, Biddy basketball, little wow. kids. Yes, we yes. had won the championship. All right. So I had gotten some jackets for our team, and on my jacket it said, Coach George. Uh -huh. So when they saw the jacket, they said, gee, if you get the job, we'll call you the coach. And I All said, right. okay. Well, I did my interview. Uh, I did my live sports report on KC 101 that morning. Wow, awesome. Um, and what happened was I was, uh, they said, well, go into the next room and prepare for the sports report because you're going to be going on at a certain time. Uh -huh. I said, uh, well, I don't have to. I said, what do you mean? I said, well, it's up here. Uh -huh. I mean, you're, gonna, you're not going to write hey. anything down? I said, no. I know what, I know what happened in sports last night. Wow, so that's awesome. What awesome. happened was I did the report. I went home, and that very night, I got a call from the program director of KC101. He right. said, George, he said, you got the job. We don't care what the next two people do on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> he said, <laughs> that, you start right. to follow. And I started the uh, Monday after Thanksgiving. I said April. I actually met uh, November when I went in for the interview, but it was Monday after Thanksgiving wow. I started nice. back in 19... Yes, 80, 83. <laughs> okay. 83. 1983. Started part, started part time. Now, now, have you been doing just this radio station as the coach since then? Or? I've been doing, I've been on KC 101, mm -hmm. and they had a sister station, AM station, uh, AM 1300, WAVZ 1300, okay. Okay. and they were sister stations, so I did... I started doing sports. I first started only doing sports on KC 101, mm -hmm. and the morning man on AVZ said, well, why can't I have the coach do sports on AVZ? So I started right. going back nice. and forth. Gotcha, gotcha. And then in 1993-94, mm -hmm. they merged with Clear Channel and WELI 960, wow. uh, where I am now, mm -hmm. and all three stations are there now. All so, together. All right. But I've basically been doing it for those stations since I've been so coaching. Actually, coaching. How long have you actually been covering high school sports? Because a lot of people out there probably don't know um, that you cover all the high school I sports. Call all high, I all started high covering school. high school sports. Oh, boy. I started doing it in 85. I've been doing it, I mean, just going to games. Mm -hmm. right. I used to go to games and then report on the highlights the next morning on KC 101. And uh, would go to the basketball games, the hockey games, the baseball games. Started girls softball covering that. And of course, football in the fall, and report on that uh, the next morning on KC 101 and WAVZ. Right. And then eventually mm -hmm. uh, started doing play-by-play uh, -play play of the games, and I started that on around 92. So I've been doing it for over 20 years, just doing play-by-play. Play. And you do a great job. Oh, right? thank you. I, yeah. I, have, I have a lot and of fun. I, I appreciate it. I've been listening to you for a long time. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Even though I'm not that old. You are, you're young. <laughs> <laughs> and the most handsomest guy on television. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's why I have a face uh, made for uh, radio. Oh, should I say radio? After, yeah, sitting, yeah. Be, <laughs> after sitting between you two guys, I don't know. It may be a what's, career what, yet. What's the difference, George, between sports of yesteryear and sports of today? What do you see is the big difference that you in see. terms of uh, youth and, and well I, I think this uh, I've been covering high school for a long time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think nowadays uh, and I'm not for this I think kids get specialized now mm -hmm. you know they want to play one thing the whole year and I don't know if I like that because I've seen some kids get burned out right, right. you know uh, when I went to school in high school and everything I played three sports uh, and my sons played more than one, even in terms of the when they went to school in the in the mid to late 80s and graduated from high school. Uh, but now I see kids uh, just concentrating on one sport. I'm not point. sure that's right. good. I've seen kids get burned out from doing that, and I'm right. not I'm not for that. Right. I like them to play a couple right. different things, you know. Right. 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 But uh, you know, and, and and that I think, and and also I think today's today's youth doesn't have the commitment that we had years and they have so much more to, to go with right. you know uh it's like oh you want me to go and practice today right i just can't play the game right. Right. no right. i gotta i gotta practice you, you gotta, gotta practice, practice yeah. first right. practice uh, dedication right. is yeah right. dedication right. and commitment right. i think right. is and it's very tough being a coach nowadays i right. coached uh middle school i did uh, high school for 10 years uh, with my son at North Haven, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's it, it's even changed since then. You know? Now, now uh, Tony uh, uh, Anthony Tony C. Yeah, uh, uh, Tony C. Uh, Tony is uh, 
and he told me you're doing some other volunteer work too, uh, uh, with some schools or something. Right, he do. does all the high school games in yeah, the area. He, he goes games. actually goes to the games. I actually go yeah, to the game. Yeah. Right, and right. And but I do play by play. Oh, you do play by play. I do play. I do play by play. Tell what's up, CT. What that means. Well, I mean, in other words, I do the broadcast. We'll go to. I'll cover a game every Friday night on 960 WELI, and I'll go with the, an engineer, my uh, color man, mm -hmm. and I do play-by-play. -play. Right. You know, do I am uh, like Marv Albert, yeah, does, you right. know, and uh, <laughs> guys like that. And then in the winter, I'll do play-by-play -play of boys and girls basketball. Wow. I do high school hockey. Nice. And nice. then in the spring, uh, doing now girls high school softball, which yeah. I've been covering for many years. So all in all, for the four sports, I'll do play-by-play -play for over 100 games. So how do people on What's Up CT get to, to, to hear you? I guess they can't see you on radio, but no. how can they hear you? Well, they can hear me uh, on 960 WLI, 960 AM. Mm -hmm. uh, they can hear me on AM 1300, because okay. I do uh, some sports on 1300, some are on ELI. Okay. Uh, they can also now, with uh, the internet, right, right. Uh, just go to the, the websites, 960WLI.com, and uh, ESPN Radio 1300.com. Mm -hmm. So we're all over the internet. Wow, and great. also now with the iHeartRadio, which is Radio. huge. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So you can get those stations on iHeartRadio. Nice, so there's nice. uh, plenty of ways to get me other than just the radio. I know a lot of sports people, a lot of the coaches, uh, being old school, they like the radio. Right, you know, you're in the right, car, right. you want the radio. Right, well, right. that's where you can get me there. But you can get me on internet and iHeartRadio. Well. So there's plenty of ways to get me. That's awesome. Coach, awesome. give us some of the big names that you've had on your, oh. on your radio. Give us, give us, uh, give us somebody yeah. that's... Uh, I, I think, you know, being involved in uh, Walter Camp the last 20-some-odd uh, years, name, I've yep. gotten to meet some of the uh, great NFL players. Dan Marino mm -hmm. uh, uh, had him on. Uh, one of the guys I got to be real good friends with when he played in the NFL was Keith Byers okay. out of Ohio State. Wow. Went awesome. to uh, the Patriots, Patriots played yeah, them for right. the Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got to meet, uh, and of course in, in baseball, uh, Connecticut's own, uh, Rico yeah. Bronia right. from Watertown. Yeah. You know Rico, uh, Rico and I are still very good friends. Yeah. Right. Uh, I keep in touch with him. He's That's been on my great. show several times. Awesome, awesome. Uh, woof, 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 woof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, it, it, it is great to meet some of the great professionals. You know, uh, my idol growing up, and again, I'll date myself, but being a Yankee fan, yeah, one right. of the guys that I that was my idol growing up was Mickey Mantle. I mean, yeah, he's, yeah, you know, yeah, being yeah. as you read in my book, right? I did, <laughs> and right. I had the chance to to meet Mickey uh, at a, a show in New Haven many years ago, awesome. and uh, I think I was in awe of him then as I was as a kid and got to meet Whitey Ford and, oh, you know, oh, wow. Mel Allen. And now, you all told me you're a Yankee fan, but rumor has it that you're a Washington National I fan. Am, I am. How, I, did, I, how did that happen? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I've been a Yankee fan since I was four years old. My father wouldn't allow me to root for anybody else. Uh, he, he's told me, he said, this is all you have to care about are the Yankees, and that's it. Uh, but I always felt sorry for the Washington Senators when they Ooh, were back in with Frank Howard. Oh, Frank Howard! Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, quick story. I went to I went to see Frank Howard play in Washington yeah, yeah, yeah. with the Senators, and I uh, couldn't wait to see him play. Huge man! Wow. I wow. sat right behind the <laughs> Senators dugout because there was nobody there basically, and. Uh, he went 0 for 5. Okay. So I was just thrilled about that. Wow, wow. Know, couldn't get the ball out of the infield. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I always liked them, always felt bad for them. And when they moved back to Washington, when they left, I really felt bad. When they moved back in 05, mm -hmm. 04, 05, I started following them faithfully. Wow. Uh, watch them on uh, MLB TV, which I get just to watch them. Mm -hmm. uh, follow all their games, follow all their moves. And to this day, uh, I, I I love the Washington. Have you wow. been down to the uh, state? I have now? not. I plan on going this great, summer. Right, right, right. My son actually went before I did. He's right. not a Nationals fan, no, but uh, I plan on going. But I, awesome. but still, you know, you, know, you always, always, your heart. Always with the Yankees. I'm still a right. Yankee fan. Yeah, no, I, I, I love yeah, the Yankees. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. You know, uh, all the interviews that you have done, <laughs> what was one of the most uh, uh, great interviews that you can recall? Other than this one. Other yeah. than this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, will, this, will rank, this will rank up all of them, that's for sure. Uh, if they only knew the folks the behind the scenes, you know, the setting up of all this, they, they wouldn't believe what goes on. Um, you know, it's funny. I I've never uh, I had the chance to interview uh, 
uh, Wayne Gretzky okay, many years ago, player. great yeah. hockey player. Yeah. Uh, I had the chance to uh, uh, get some of the Heisman winners on wow. uh, on my show. I, I tell you, who I really enjoyed uh, John Elway. John Elway was on. I did an interview with John Elway. Had a chance to talk to him. Very. Nice. I like when the guys act uh, down to earth, down to earth and right. talk to you. Right. you. know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Um, exactly. That's a great point. You know, exactly. I, I, I had the chance to talk to Troy Aikman, mm-hmm. uh, who, uh, when he was involved with Walter Camp, uh, came down as a member, uh, you know, as a, co- a collegian. Right. And, of course, they had the basketball game way back when, when the college stars played against each yeah. other right. at the right. Coliseum. I used to coach one of the teams. Nice. Yeah. And I can remember uh, Troy saying to me that night, saying, listen, Coach, I, I don't want to play in the game because they didn't want to get hurt, you know. And, right. You know, okay. I said, Troy, whatever you want to do, you know. It's, you don't want to get hurt? No, you don't. <laughs> you don't sit on the bench. <laughs> By the end of the first half, he saw the action. Everybody having some. He goes, Coach, put me in. I, 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 I want to go in. He changed his mind. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I had a chance to uh, to interview uh, a few years ago uh, the running back. Uh, help me, uh, Reggie, uh, Reggie, Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. Okay. Uh, talk about ones you, you can forget. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I did him on location. Well, they threw it to me, joining me now, Reggie Bush. And Reggie Bush basically sat there, crouched down in his chair, and uh, didn't speak. Is that right? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't like, speak. Wow. I, I, I'm wow. looking over at the, the can, you know. <laughs> what do I say? What, what do, do I do? Yeah, how do I get him uh, going? I'm just, yeah, I, I mean, did I... Uh, you want to start this again, or you want? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, was, uh, and, I, and I never. Fi- and, and finally, we had to take a, a break, break, and they came over and talked to me and said, "Reggie, you, this is you're in radio. You got, you can't just sit here." And I don't know what the problem was, but uh, he finally did talk a little bit. It wasn't the greatest interview I ever did. And I got to tell you something: you learn real quick. In my radio career, right, right. Uh, how, how not to do an interview and how to do an interview. Uh-huh. And I learned that at Fenway Park in Boston. I uh, went up to Fenway Park with my family, and I got credentials to go on the field before the game to interview some players, bring it back to the radio station. Right. And the Red Sox, unfortunately, this was near the beginning of the season that year, and they were coming off a road trip in which they had lost like 10 in a row. Oh boy. So yeah. nobody's in a real good mood, which wasn't good <laughs> for me. What year was this? Uh, <laughs> it was early in my career, in the 80s. 80? Yeah. So Jim really Rice play. was Jim not Rice. available to the press, <laughs> oh, okay. so he couldn't even talk to him. Oh, Dwight uh, Evans? Dwight mm-hmm. Evans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got a chance to talk to uh, Wade Box, and I got started the interview, and I said, okay, let's start the tape. And I said, you know, I'm joined now by third baseman Wade Boggs. I said, Wade, you know, Red Sox off to the rocky start. You know, 10-game ten, ten losing strip, you know. Uh, things went, And he looked at me and he's going, well, I, I didn't have a bad road trip. He goes, uh, we got off to a bad, but, you know, I, 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 yeah, I don't wow. think it was, wow. I don't think it was so bad. I'm, I'm doing okay and things, you know, and I'm going. And, and the whole interview from that time on. It was about. Down, 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 down hill. Hill. Wow. And I ended it real fast because he wasn't very... <laughs> so he wasn't about the Red Sox, he was about Wade Boggs. I'm afraid it was. Yeah. So I learned, and you know, you learn things new in the business as you go along. Right. I, I got a chance uh, a while later to meet uh, Don Shula at Walter Camp. Okay. Uh, it was funny because I met him on an elevator, and I, was, I said, gee, I got my stuff, can you do uh, an interview? And, and here's how it started. I said, Coach Shula. I put my hand out like this. I said, it is indeed a pleasure and honor. You are one of the greatest coaches. Absolutely. I've been a big fan, wow. uh, you know, of you for a while. And the whole interview was great. Oh, he said, nice to meet you. Well, where do you want to do the interview? I said, we can do it right uh, right off the elevator. And, and he gave me the yeah, best cool. interview. And, and you learn to start things on a positive note, right. and it'll you'll get positive. it'll stay positive. Okay. If you say something negative, <laughs> oh, you learn quick because I've learned. And and now you know I basically Great story. yeah it's Great story. true. All right, all right, Coach George. We're just going to take a moment, and uh, we'll be right back right after this with Coach George and Tony C. We'll be right back. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds.
I'm the coach George DeMeo from 960 WELI and ESPN Radio 1300, and you're watching What's Up CT. <laughs> the average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Visit us at stoptextstoprex.org. Welcome back to What's Up CT. Oh, I got to tell you, the Coach G. Can I say Coach G in You're the house? Do it. Oh, All right, yeah. and Tony C. Do it. Coach do it. C. Oh, it. yeah, I got him. Because, I, I, you know, it's a, you, that when you first walked in the studio, you were saying that's how you got that name. That's how I got Coach the name. George. Right. right. Yeah, and also I Coach like G yeah, is yeah. fine. And Coach that's G, right. G that's in fine. the house. That's and, right. And, and Tony C. You know, Charles, we've been talking to the coach about all these great players that he's met. Right. Been yes, and yes. He's been covering sports for a long time. And I'm going to ask him this question. This is a topic, a discussion that goes on and on and on. Coach, who in your opinion, and we'll go sport by sport, let's go with baseball first. Who in your opinion was the best high school player to come out of Connecticut and go professional and play baseball? Wow. In your opinion. Baseball. Hey, let's start with baseball. And there's been a few. I mean, there's been a few. You better help me on these All names. Right. You're better at this. All right. I'll, Give I'll me some help. choices. Um, we got the Phil Nats who came out of uh, Baskey right? right. play with the Giants. Mm -hmm. Uh, Greg McCarthy, I believe, played for the Mariners. Yes. The Leaf, uh, yep. Leaf. Nick G. Quinto, I believe. Nick did. Yeah. From, from CT? Yeah. From yeah. CT, yeah. Yeah. CT. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick is, Nick okay. is from CT. Wow. Rich okay. Bronia from the... Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The best professional baseball out of Connecticut. Out of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. I ever right. met was Rico Bronia. Okay. I mean, there was not a better first baseman with the glove than him. Tell me if I'm wrong. He got a sickness, right? Cause he, he had was, a bad back. Yeah, okay. Bad back. He, he had back good. going great. Uh, and again, defensively, maybe one of the best first basemen yes. I've ever seen. Yeah. I got to tell you something. Had he even played football, he was one of the uh, quarterback out of Watertown mm -hmm. wow. and one of the best kickers wow. I have ever seen. Really? Oh, wow. the first time I watched him play... He set up to line up for a 50-yard field goal, wow. and the crowd in Naugatuck said, you got to be kidding me. Wow. And when it went right through the goalpost, they said, oh. Wow. And, of course, he still holds several records right. in football in Connecticut. Wow, that's in, awesome. Oh, he's unbelievable. From CT. Yeah, and one of the yeah. nicest young men I've yeah. ever met. Awesome. Uh, Let's flip it to basketball, and there's been many oh, stars. Been, <laughs> now, I went to Kobe <laughs> High School, and I swear by this kid, only because I saw a lot of him. He broke every scoring record in the state of Connecticut, Walt Luckett. Well, Walt Luckett was one of the right. best we ever had. New Haven folks are going to counter with Dave Hicks, oh, who okay. went to Wilbur Cross and then played with the Globetrotters oh, okay. wow. uh, out of Wilbur okay. Cross. Wow. But the one that they'll always bring up, at least they bring it up to me as Super John Williamson. Great Otto Wilbur Cross played in the wow. ABA and the NBA and with the Nets. Right. Right. Uh, uh, maybe one of the best all-around players ever. Yeah. Oh. And he, he would be in my... Wow. He'd be one of my top tough, players. Tough trust player, me. Yeah. Trust no, me. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's it, coming from but CT. But you would never know. Wow, but it, you're yeah, right, but yeah, it's yeah, hard. Yeah. It there, really there was is. a lot of them that came out of the state of Connecticut. Um, Real, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll give you another Sue one. Campbell. Sue Campbell. Yep. And, and one down your way, actually, Fairfield, as we're talking, Calvin Murphy, oh, who best. went to yeah. Norwalk and yep. had a great career in the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Little guy, he had one of the... It was sensation. I had a chance to see him play. Charles at Smith Coast. out of Bridgeport. Charles John Smith. John Bagley out of Bridgeport. Exactly yeah. right. Wow. Yes, wow. out of Bridgeport. So there were a lot of them. There yeah. were a lot. You're just trying to get those Bridgeport guys I in. I <laughs> how, about, uh, how about football, Coach? <laughs> Wow. Well, Nick G. Quinto, he played for the Dolphins, right? And he, he ended up going to a Super Bowl. He did. Yeah. He did. Um, wow. Anthony Elliott from the Saints? Yeah. I, I'll go back. Uh, maybe uh, I can go back before that. Uh, guy by the name of Andy Robustelli played oh, for the Giants. Number 81 yeah. from the Giants. That's right. Wow. And wow. Uh, maybe, That's a good one, yeah. yeah, defensive end, and he was. He may have been one of the best I've ever seen because wow. the Giants were so good oh, then. With Wyatt Tittle. And, and oh, Sam Huff yeah. and all that. And wow. Yeah, th I mean, you, you know, you get a few arguments going, though, Anthony, it's about that. You know that. Yep. It, it's a great discussion. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But, again, I, I've always enjoyed that part. But my thing for many, many years has been the local sports, talk, covering the high schools. Right. That's, That's awesome. what's made me um, maybe popular in Connecticut because I always tell folks you can get – the pro scores anywhere, right, you know. Right, right. But if you want to know what the high school scores are about, what who's playing what, right. then you listen. And it's to a me. credit to you, George, for sticking yeah. with it. Well, it was Absolutely. something different. Absolutely, Absolutely. you can see it something. grow. You can see the kids oh, grow. Oh, exactly yeah. what's, right. What's been your yeah. greatest accomplishment over the years doing all this? Oh boy, yeah. what's yeah. the biggest accomplishment that you've? Got? I guess I guess the kids coming back to me maybe at a game. Uh, telling me how they remembered me doing play-by-play -play of their games right. and saying, or if they won an award, 
uh, because after every game that I do, no matter what sport it is, I give out uh, hot dogs and hamburgers from right. my sponsor, Hummels in New Haven, wow. who's been sponsoring me the longest of anybody, wow. right wow. in Longhorn. Hummels, yeah, yeah. And I also give a plaque. And uh, just recently, some players of the year and players of the game came up to me during the game and said, oh, Coach, remember when you did my game? I, I won the plaque. I got the, uh, my picture. And just knowing that. Wow. Uh, and yeah. fans, that's, that's what it's all about. Right? Well, it's all you about the kids. It's all about the kids. It's all about the kids. It's been about the kids with me. Yeah. Remember, yeah. I, I was a school teacher for 19 years, so wow. I wow. taught as well. Nice, uh, nice. So I always enjoyed that. Awesome, awesome. Well, i got to tell you, Coach, uh, from, uh, this is the first time I'm meeting you, but I heard yes. you on the radio as well. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I just got great vibes from the from the first time I met you. Well, thank you. And that's something that I guess you carry with you everywhere you go. I do. Well, it's a passion. Yeah, it's yeah. a passion that I have for the job that I do and yeah. for the high school kids. And he's actually so had me on his radio show. And we I talk, have. Like we've been talking, we could talk for hours about right. sports. That's right. I mean, That's he's awesome. just that kind of a personality guy. I awesome. like to. I mean, let's face it. Radio is just an extension mm -hmm. of your own life. Right. right. So the right. way I talk on the radio, the way I act, the way I coach, yes, the yes. way I do play-by-play -play yes, yes. is the way I am. Oh, that's I awesome. mean, I get pumped up no matter where I'm right, right. This, right. this man here is an icon for high school sports. Well, thank you. And oh, I yes. want people out there to know that that's this why we invite him on the show. This is what's up with CT. This is what's up. All right, right. the coach You're is up an icon. This man is an icon, believe me. Thank you. You're very nice to say that. Very nice. Very nice. I'm so proud When you've been around long enough, you get it right once in a while. Oh, I'll tell you. If you had to change anything, if you had to go back yeah, and you had boy. to change anything, would you do the same thing or what would you change in your life? Oh, boy. Um, I, I sound like a reporter. Don't I you know. You're good. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's you know, funny. Andrew, it's good. Uh, yeah. In terms of my career, you mm -hmm. mean? Well, I, I, I probably wouldn't change anything, although uh, I always enjoyed being a teacher. Mm -hmm. I taught the U.S. history, social studies, middle school, elementary school. Uh, I, I love doing that. Uh, I got out of it and did other things. Mm -hmm. I regret doing that. And then went back to it. Actually was out of teaching for 15 years. Wow, and then wow. went back to it mm -hmm. uh, in East Haven, where I, I, I loved it, and then went there for another uh, another 15 more. Wow. Uh, and, you know, and I loved doing it. And of course, since retired from teaching, been retired from teaching now for five years, and I, I really miss it. Yeah. I miss the I miss the kids. So you go back to the yeah. teaching part. Oh, of I, I, I would I, I could do that, but Great. you know I love radio. Right. Uh, I love radio because the pictures that you can paint on on the air. Yeah. You know that that pass in a football game. Right. I can make this kid sound like he's throwing a beautiful spiral, right. or maybe it was just. You know, wobbly yeah, pass. You really sound like you enjoy doing it. Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, I do. Well, I can I'll tell that you enjoy it. I really do. I, I really get, oh, I get in. I'll tell you what, there's nothing yeah. like uh, when football starts on right. a Friday. Mm -hmm. right, right. I mean, you start getting pumped up in the afternoon, you know, getting ready to go to it. And then sometimes I'll go to a game before I do my play by play. If there's an afternoon game, I'll right. go watch that game yeah, get, and then get pumped, pumped up. Yeah, and by the time yeah. I get to my game, mm -hmm. I mean, and if you yeah. go on our website, you'll hear play by play, yeah, uh, a awesome. replay. I, now, I just nobody's love. ever approached you to go to a, maybe a higher uh, radio station or maybe a TV mm -hmm. show. Have you ever been approached? Uh, actually, I have. Mm -hmm. uh, years ago, uh, one of my colleagues at KC 101 said, Look, George, I can get you a gig at CBS Radio in New York. You're good enough to do it. Absolutely. You know, uh, be weekend stint. You make real good money. Mm -hmm. uh, would you be interested in doing weekend sports on CBS 880? And I said no. Wow. I said no. Do you no. regret that? No. Not right. that, no. Good answer. Uh, because yeah. I, yeah. I liked what I was doing, right. and I didn't want to be. I had two little boys at the time. I didn't want to train up to New York every weekend, because then right. I wouldn't see him you know, between right. during the week and week. Then it'll be work. It wouldn't be fun. That's right. Yeah. I don't ever want to make it work. <laughs> right. The other time, I, I was approached by a local TV station um, in New Haven year, a few years after that, and uh, I had thought about it, to be honest with you. And, and I got to tell you, I wouldn't mind doing TV locally. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you are today. Just thank you very well, much. Well, no, no, thank you very <laughs> much. But I, I, I mean in terms of Channel 8 or Channel yeah, right, uh, yeah, yeah. I get to work with uh, 
uh, some great people. But uh, and I mentioned to to you, Charlie, before uh, Joe Zone and okay. John Holt from WFSB yep. Channel Three. I think do the best coverage in TV yes, uh, right. for high school sports. They have yep. their Friday night football, their yep. Friday night frenzy. Yep. I've been on that show more than once. Yeah, I've seen you on. Uh, I, I yes. love being on yep. there. Awesome. They use my uh, play by play from my games. I believe they had you on with your dog one time. I they saw. did. That yeah. was just recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. my little my little See boy, both, my little boy. You do listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wally made the 11 o'clock news right, with John, right. awesome. but it, it's, it's good for the station. I love it. I like to help them out any way I can. But I have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. If they said uh, come up, uh, if I was offered a, a TV gig now, maybe doing high, and maybe concentrating on do a high school sports segment, right. Right. Oh, I, I would do it. But you right. got my vote. Yeah. Oh, you got my vote, too. too. But, I, but I love radio, yeah. so yeah. I'm not you know what, I'm radio Charles. loves you, too. You know what, Charles? <laughs> thank you. you know what, Charles? And I love you, too, man. Uh, thank you. The state of Connecticut should recognize this man for Absolutely. what he is. Well, I, I've, had, I've had a few. Sure. I've had a few. And I hope there's some listeners out there and that hear us interviewing them, and somebody's going to recognize it. They can see you now, now. They can see your face with the voice. I've been, well, that's, then they'll say, I know why you're in radio. I've been, I've been really uh, blessed with some honors yeah. Anthony along the way I have, a, I have a den downstairs in my in my condo that uh, is uh, has a lot of plaques on it and stuff nice, nice. Uh, I've been inducted well, into the I've been inducted into the uh, softball Hall of Fame in Connecticut the wow. women's basketball Hall awesome. of Fame awesome. uh, for awesome. my play the, the football has honored me so I, I've had you know I've had my honor that's so good. and right. I but I just have fun yeah. I just like well, having fun. Coach, that's well, what it's well, about. Coach, it's an that's honor it's having you on what's well, up I can't I got to tell, tell you. you what. Yeah. A rough, a rough <laughs> beginning getting everything ready, but now that we're all here, we made, we made now it. we should just <laughs> tape like about five shows. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do five you shows. Made a comeback. Yeah, that's it. You know? We made a comeback, You know, like the game yeah. shows, we'll do five shows <laughs> now. Let's do it. Here we go. We <laughs> made a comeback. Thank you, you guys. I really appreciate you having me on, too. Oh, great. I want you to know that. I want you to know. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Before you go, though, Coach, uh, uh, Anthony, you got a uh, a book now. We've done a, the interview with mm -hmm. you on uh, uh, the Bridgeport. Uh, what if? What, what if? if? And what you if? were on the, on his show as well. Twice. 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 Right. I'm hoping to get on again. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping to get on so again. Well, if you can yeah. find your way to the. That's going to be the problem, coach. I got a problem with directions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Anthony's welcome on my show anytime. Well, we, we it's, a book. it's a great yeah. book. It's a great book. It's a great book. I mean, it's again, it's it's down to earth. It right. talks right. about mm -hmm. things that people can relate to. Exactly. John Grisham. Novel. Oh, right. it, it's just from I wouldn't want you to do that. Awesome. I wouldn't read it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just about me growing up in Bridgeport. That's right. And in I, fact, me and Charles went down to Bridgeport, the old playground, um, over the weekend. We yeah. did an interview down there. Yeah. And W, uh, what's up, CT? We'll be able to see that. You're gonna be that. Yeah. You're gonna see that. Oh, very good. Yeah. CT yeah. as well. Very so we kind of put it all yes. together. Uh, with the coach. Well, I got to tell you, coach, I want to thank you very much thank for you. coming to the thank show. You. Thank it's you. been great. Been nice great meeting you. you. Anthony, oh, yeah. Anthony. it's been a pleasure finally to meet you, buddy. Hey, Anthony, uh, Charles, good to see you as you well. Yes, and, and, I'm glad uh, I finally made it. Hey, so <laughs> am I, so am I. This is What's Up in CT, so you guys got to turn on that radio and listen to the coach at what station? 960 WLI AM and 1300. Oh, right. don't miss it. Hey, don't miss don't it. Miss the it. coach is in the house. Hold on, let me toot my horn. Uh oh. <laughs> That's what's up in CT. I'm Charles Dukes Jr. Holla. I'm the wife of a teacher. Budget cuts affected my husband's salary, so I'm picking up some part time work. We're doing everything we can to make sure our kids eat today. Tomorrow, I just don't know. Fernanda, how'd I do? Well, I usually fold the underwear first. I meant the acting, but good to know. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. I got your back from now until I'm gone, feel me? Let's relax and play my new song, mommy. You got me high, it's time to do some. I ain't trying to do you wrong. I'm just trying to show you love.
it. I got the hot music. I guess I got my chicks. You can do it, baby. Got your grind on it. I don't have nothing, but now I got something. You can do it, homie. Got your grind on it. I got the hot music. I guess I got my chicks. You can do it, baby. Got your grind.